Okay, let's get into this. I got all your questions. I sorted through them. Let me start off by saying this. I never had an NDA. I was not fired from Ghost Adventures. I never did, quote, a bad thing. I never cheated in a relationship that I was in. I was misled with the ongoing of paranormal lockdown. I kept my head up for nine years. I pushed forward. I kept trying to move on, creating new hit shows. But the previous hosts that I used to work with keep trying to stop my career. So this is my story. This is from my perspective. And now I have to talk about it. Okay, Rachel asked, this may be controversial, I know, but what was it like working on the GA team after the documentary and fame hit? Just wondering if rumors are true about you know who's ego from experience. I questioned him once about how he treats his team and was blocked instantly. In my opinion, this rumor is true. I witnessed it firsthand and I saw him treat people just as poorly. This host was terrible to work with. It was an extremely hostile environment to work in. And also Dakota can speak on his experience with him too. All right, this is from Glenda from Texas. Aaron has already explained why you were fired. You went behind Zach's back, started a new show without discussing anything with him. Trying to destroy him at this late date will do you no good, except she spelled no wrong. I did not get fired. That is false. I did not go behind anyone's back. My contract allowed me to produce other shows, just like the other host who I was working with, who produced several other shows. This is simply jealousy. Nothing to do with legalities. There were multiple questions regarding whether or not you believe that you have been limited or blocked from appearing on Travel Channel. In my opinion, I do believe I was blocked from the network and continuing my shows specifically because of one host who I used to work with. And the reason I know this is because several executives I spoke to at the network said, I can't come to that network as long as he's there. And also years later, speaking to Dakota, who finally spoke out about it and confirmed it for me that yes, when he was filming with this one host at a location, this host came into the room bragging, laughing, saying, ha ha ha, Nick's never going to work in America again because I gave the network an ultimatum to choose him or me. So now having that confirmation, this is the reason I'm speaking out today about it because finally someone has the guts to talk about it publicly. Marshmar1 says, I'm sorry, this was like 10 years ago. Move on with your life. Stay out of the drama. It's not drama when it directly impacts my life, my career, and my family. I wouldn't have to get involved in this conversation if this individual didn't continue interfering with my life. There's a ton of questions wanting to know exactly why you left Ghost Adventures. In my opinion, based on what I was told, a certain individual that I worked with called up the network and said he would not show up at the next location if I showed up. I was dragged along for two months and I kept being told, we don't need you at this next location. Then another week would go by, we don't need you at that location. Got to the point where I was dragged along for so long that my lawyer finally stepped in. He gave me a choice. I could either move on and make something better, create something new, or just be a sitting duck and just wait. So I chose to move on and create Paranormal Lockdown. Okay, so this brings me to a bunch of other questions that have to do with Paranormal Lockdown. People want to know what happened to Paranormal Lockdown. Many of them are saying it was my favorite paranormal show of all time. Paranormal Lockdown became one of the highest rated shows for the network at the time. And yes, it is true that a merger was occurring and we we're kind of on hiatus still filming. But then I was told by the network executives that we would continue Paranormal Lockdown into 20 episodes and keep going after it. But then suddenly radio silence. We had to get on the phone, talk to the network, and try to figure out what is going on because this is what I was being promised. And this brings me back around to what Dakota witnessed about a certain individual, a host who walked into the room bragging and talking about how he stopped Paranormal Lockdown. I believe I know what happened to my show, Paranormal Lockdown, but what do you guys think? A lot of people have sent screenshots or even tagged us in the original tweets that Zach posted years ago. And it goes like this. Zach says, anyone out there who gets fired from a job for doing bad things can't use said job as a resume of achievements, total deception. He goes on to say, please for one time in your life, do something 100% original. And then continues to say, disgusted to see someone using our show name, Ghost Adventures, to keep promoting shows and himself that we want absolutely nothing to do with. Here's proof that he's putting out statements about me talking about how I did, quote, bad things. Multiple people in the industry reached out to me and stated Zach called them and told them not to work with me. 
After speaking with Dakota, I learned that these patterns have not stopped. I believe that these rumors were used to try to hinder my career. And as far as him going on and saying, I use Ghost Adventures for my resume, yes, it is part of my resume. I helped create the title Ghost Adventures. I edited it. I was a co-creator. I was in it for 10 seasons. I have every right to use Ghost Adventures on my resume. Bottom line, these are false statements and his way of trying to ruin my reputation. Nikita asked, are you way happier now getting to investigate your way and have full control of what you're producing? As you're seeing now, people in the industry are talking how difficult it is to move away from a network that's fully producing their project. I took matters into my own hands, gained full control over my project, Deathwalker, so this would not happen again. To answer your question, I'm way happier now. I have full control of my projects. I'm away from toxic people. There's no restraints. And I'm able to pursue my passion of real paranormal investigations with credible evidence. What about the allegations in the media regarding you cheating? These allegations are completely false. I have never cheated. I have never had an affair. In my opinion, these rumors and allegations were put out into the media purposely by a very hateful and jealous woman. Chris says, how's the baby doing? I hope you all are happy and healthy. I couldn't be happier. The baby is doing fantastic. All of his brothers and sisters are doing great. They all love each other. Tessa and I are extremely happy with our life right now, and we're growing together. We're working on new projects, and we're pursuing our passion. I could go on and on about why I have zero respect for these certain people that I worked with in the past. I have never allowed anything to stand in my way. Tessa and I will not allow anything negative to stand in our way with everything that we have coming up. I'm putting all these rumors to rest because again, we're moving forward. Tessa and I have been doing this since we were little kids, and we look forward to continuing to bring you real paranormal content.